1.8 million people have lost their jobs. Now, that has a much uh, longer-lasting impact, doesn't it? Well, yes, of course. Uh, the impact is uh, going to be uh, experienced for... Uh, many years. Um, I hope that uh, we are able to get back on track uh, uh, before the time that we are expecting. But that would require um, a lot to be done and resources that we need. Uh, we've uh, uh, appealed to the world. You, As you know that uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, as well as the Foreign Minister of Pakistan, uh, they have been uh, reaching out to people, to countries, to agencies. Um, and uh, the estimates were around $28 billion to $30 billion. And uh, as you introduced me as the Minister for Poverty Alleviation and Social Safety and uh, the fact that poverty is definitely going to increase and has increased, we see the kind of damage that we are facing where people have lost homes, have lost livelihoods. And uh, there was an announcement made by the government of Pakistan to reach out to the flood-affected people through the data that is available with my ministry under a program called Benazir Income Support Program, which is the most successful program not only in Pakistan, uh, but also in the region in terms of social protection. So we have a data of around uh, 34 million uh, households, which is about 38 million families. And uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan made an announcement where he announced around 70 billion uh, rupees and uh, so far we've spent 50 billion rupees in cash disbursement 25,000 uh, rupees per family which comes to around 106 US dollars per affected family and as I speak to you today we've reached to 2 million families today um, uh, by spending an amount of rupees 50 billion uh, which comes to around $213 million. Mm. So this is the kind of cash relief that uh, uh, was provided to people immediately um, as soon as we could go out um, on in the field.